What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back at with the trade rumor rebuild. And today we are doing none other than the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, Giannis, a big point in, in keeping him happy. It's making sure they're winning. He wants a championship. He is an MVP. Of course, he still needs to improve his game and be more consistent with his range. Stuff like that. Of course, he's not a perfect player, but he's a freak of nature that you wouldn't want to lose. That you would not want to lose if you're the Milwaukee Bucks once in a lifetime player for your franchise. So you're going to have to do the most to try to keep him happy. What is that? Uh, one of the trades, two of the trades I saw out there, one of them for Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo, though, very unsure player. You don't know how he's going to come back off that major injury. You know, if he's going to come back to even, if he comes close to his old form, that's still a really good Victor Oladipo. But to be on the safer side, I'm going to go with the Drew Holiday one. Drew Holiday always in trade rumors. Drew Holiday is connected to the Bucks. We'll see if it happens. We'll see if they make any moves. But then I added an extra piece, JJ Redick. Need spacing. We'll bring in Drew Holiday, who will also bring spacing and that defense that we're missing out from uh, trading these two away. And then I just had to match contracts. I don't know if DJ Wilson, if that's his uh, rookie scale contract of 4.5 million or if he's just a restricted free agent now. But I needed to add him here. I unfortunately had to add Frank Jackson. I didn't want to steal another young piece from the uh, Pelicans. But it is what it is. Stealing away Frank Jackson, I guess I could send him to the G League, end up being a backup. You guys know Drew Holiday autom automatically declines after one season so we'll see if the uh, and, and then i usually in these trade rumors i don't make any changes after this initial trade jj reddick for uh, uh jj reddick drew holiday the big pieces for eric and dante i'm probably going to add first rounders here because they're needed they're needed and they won't be that valuable all i needed was to add was one they technically still get vets plus still getting a young shooting guard in dante that could uh very well play Good minutes for the Pelicans for sure. Bledsoe could still come off the bench or if they for some reason want to start him over Lonzo. And then George Hill to, I don't know, be that other vet presence. Run multiple guard lineups, I guess. And then a first rounder on top of it all. Now, what would coach have out here? Frank Jackson starting. Um, Coach, you realize, I guess, Holiday at the two. Middleton, Jan. No, start with the spacing. Why can't you start with the spacing? Of course. Holiday's going to get worse if I switch him to point guard, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go out here and start J.J. Redick. Start J.J. Redick. I might make a move or two to just help this bench a little bit, and I probably will change it to a nine-man rotation. Uh, fix your... I'll just have him fix it right now, and then I'll fix it later. Honestly, having Ilya Sov as the sixth man is kind of a big yikes, but it's fine with me right now. I'll probably just going to go into free agency here, sign somebody that I need to sign. Um, I could get DeMarcus. I'm not going to get DeMarcus. Isaiah might be interesting. He's still looking for a team out there. System match is absolute nothing. So that's kind of a big yikes. But I'll probably wait. Oh, he's not out here, is he, right now? Dang. Yeah, okay, never mind. Maybe maybe free agency isn't the best move. I just want one decent guy coming off my bench since I did just give up uh, pretty much my depth. I gave away, what, three decent players for two. So we lost one. Coach liked running a 10-man, which absolutely is not going to happen. And uh, I guess I try to find something for, I don't know, Kyle Korver, Sterling Brown, and a second rounder by the Pacers. I see any bench piece that's just a little bit better than what we have right now. And Furkan is not bad. He could come in and stretch the floor for us as well at multiple positions. Six foot seven, good size. Uh, 10 points last season in 21 minutes. Why not? He'd be one of my main... My, 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 He'd be one of my main guys, and uh, we'll take him. We'll take him. Here we go. Coach game plan. Uh, what is he starting now? Frank Mason. <laughs> okay, we're going to fix this up, and then I'll show you guys the final results. We'll simulate to the end of the season after this as well. All right, this is the roster. Minimal, ch I mean, big changes to the starting five, but minimal changes to the bench, I guess. Or big changes, I don't know, whatever way you want to see it. Um, we're not the best team that I can make, clearly. I could go out and flip and flip and flip and flip and get a better center, get a technically better shooting guard than J.J. Reddick to start as well. But that's not what this is about. Trade rumor rebuilds. I make the tr initial trade. I try to not make too many changes after that and see if they can pull off a championship. Holiday, J.J. Reddick, great spacing to the floor alongside Giannis. He can kick it out to any of these guys, and they can knock down a shot. Holiday, Redick, Middleton, Giannis, Brooke Lopez. Ilyasova, our sixth man. That's a yikes. Furkan is our seventh man. Wesley Matthews, our eighth man. And our ninth man, Marvin Williams, for now. The bench most definitely needs a revamp. 
but having a 97 starter with all this spacing, it might just be enough. Changed it to a nine-man rotation. You guys know I love playing physical defense, especially with injuries off. Injuries on, your guys will probably get consistently injured. Check the proficiency. I don't think I'm going to run defense, especially with JJ out here. Four stars on balance. That looks like is what we're going to most definitely run. And we go out, win a championship year one. That would be dope. And then I revamp the team and make it even better. But we got to see. I honestly don't think it's enough, but you never know when you have Giannis. I most definitely, the way this team was winning and losing, we're 52 and 30. I don't think it's enough for a championship. Luka Doncic is the MVP. Uh, don't, that doesn't matter, rookie of the year. Six man Spencer, Giannis, defensive player, most improved Jamal, Mike Malone, 59. We finished 52 and 30. Uh, not incredibly far off from that. Of course, we could surprise in the playoffs. Um, I've seen them do it. Be Giannis, of course, all NBA first team. I don't think anybody else makes an all NBA team. Maybe a defensive team? Uh, I mean, clearly, clearly Giannis, uh, but Drew Holiday makes an all-defensive second team. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, and that is what happened. And uh, where did we finish? Second in the Eastern Conference. We could make it out of the Eastern Conference, but do we beat that Western Conference team? I mean, we're tied with the Lakers, only two games behind the Mavericks, and three games we find behind the number one as team is Celtics in the Eastern Conference. Our offense is poor. Our offense is horrible. Did I skip? We're 21st in offense? For real? How? JJ should be scoring around 15. Drew Holiday could score around 18. Giannis should be scoring his 28 like usual. Uh, and then Chris Middleton should be scoring well. I guess my bench sucks, huh? I think that's the bench's fault. I think that's the bench's fault. Our bench sucks. 109 is our uh, points against. Our differential is sixth, which is good for sixth. And uh, now to look at the stats. Season one, 28 a game, 11, no, 15 boards, six assists. He's doing everything. He's doing everything. He's the MVP. 23 from Chris Middleton. 18 from Ade, like I said. I said 15 from JJ, but he's scoring 14. Like I said, I'm not off from these numbers. And then our bench, 9.5. Our starting center, only 9.3. That's the issue as well. Our starting center is a problem. 7 from Arison. 4 there. 3 there. Ah, uh, big problems. We might not win here. And then Holiday is going to decline this offseason. And JJ most likely as well. So I'll probably trade JJ. Since he technically isn't part of that real trade rumor that I wanted. I just wanted to throw him in here just to see. Because it kind of makes sense. Get more space in around Giannis. And uh, you, you're, you're getting set up for success. Now we simulate round by round. We could lose any round here. Am I surprised? Not really. Not really. If you saw the way we were winning and losing, we would go on to four game losing streaks a lot, a lot. So I'm not surprised there. Toronto makes it. Embiid wins it. OK, 76 is the fifth seed four won the Mavericks. We most definitely had a chance if we got out this first freaking round. But I mean, I don't really control that, especially this first round. And uh, now we see what kind of moves we could do to actually help. We got to keep Drew Holiday, though, because that's actually the trade rumor. Uh, all these trade rumor rebuilds, if you're new to my channel for some reason, make, first, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. But as well, um, for these trade rumor rebuilds, I keep that player that we do trade for. So it does make it a little bit difficult once they start declining. But it's the point of the video. A little bit difficult. Never hurts to make things a little bit more difficult because winning a championship in my league is not the most difficult thing in the first place. So just to add a little handicap for myself here, staff signing, maybe get the best staff. We have a good, just get the absolute best staff possible, I guess, and see what I could do to the bench, see what I could do at my starting center role as well. And then we probably need somebody new instead of JJ. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure JJ now is a free agent because it was a two-year contract that he signed with New Orleans. This was technically the second year, so we're off his contract now. I'll just go see what Brooke Lopez brings. We got to clearly bring uh, Giannis back or else this is kind of ruined. I don't like any of the trades out here right now. If they were to add maybe a couple of bench pieces, like if, if I, for some reason, Torian were to improve to like a 77 or something, Nicholas, Nicholas Claxton improved as well, we'd be talking. We'd be in business. But for right now, I'm going to keep him into at least free agency. Right now, we're in the draft um, because... I don't see anything that I like. I don't like these multiple pieces. Chris Middleton could be an option to trade, but then again, I really like Chris Middleton. He's always just that solid small forward making a lot of money, but it doesn't matter to me. It does not matter to me. Right now, we got to bring back Drew Holiday. We got to bring back our boy Giannis and then somehow fill out a team around him. He accepts his 27 million. Norvell, I don't care for. So Drew Holiday is back. 
Now we got to somehow bring our boy Giannis as well. Just get Giannis back. Just say, okay, yes, he is here. He is agreeing. We gave him everything. We threw everything at him. And uh, yeah, renounce rights of everybody. We don't. I don't plan on bringing any of these guys back. The Nass is not even. Uh, JJ, no, he's going to decline. Furcon, maybe. Uh, but yeah, everybody else. Everybody else could go ahead and leave. And we bring back Giannis. And maybe some. I don't know how I'm going to fill out my team. I do not know. We don't have any bird rights. Uh, we don't have money. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Really, really difficult. Uh, the big piece here is Brooke Lopez. So Brooke Lopez, I'll sign maybe a decent guy at the mid-level exception and then try to trade for a better. Oh, my gosh. What am I supposed to do? All right. I signed Ennis Cantor really quickly just, you know, so we could flip him. Flip him together. Flip for whatever we can. It kind of sucks that Drew Holiday is on that major contract there. But as long as we get two pieces, even if they're a little bit young, we know they're improving. Like Ivica is going to improve to an 80. Pat Bev, we could flip since he's making 14 million. It might be the, that might be the move. That might be the move. As long as another player comes back that we can flip. Capello would be a nice center, though. Oh, he would be a very nice center. Al Farouk Aminu, I guess we could try flipping, but that's not working. We can't just take picks in. Thomas Bryant, Jerome, no. I think Ivica and Pat Bev, and since Pat Bev still has some type of value for now, we could do the same thing over and over and over again. All right, you know what? I'll take this Nikhil Alexander-Walker one just because I know he produces well. He might even be my starting shooting guard if Drew Holiday or my point guard, whatever it is, whatever it is. Whoever we want to run at the one, we will have at the one. And uh, hopefully he improves nicely. Of course, we still have a Giannis. How they hopefully... Nah, he probably goes down to an 80, doesn't he? 80, 81 is my guess. Ivica most likely my starter. Uh, same thing with him. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I hate my team right now. I hate my team. What can we get for JJ and Al Farouk And then we'll probably throw in picks as well. I'll take this one for now just because I know JJ is going to get worse. Myers Leonard is going to get worse. Daniel Gafford and Chandler Hutchinson probably going to be around that 77 range, 76 range. I don't know if they're going to improve too much. But uh, for now, they're better than what we have. They're better than what we have for now. We could eventually flip them as well for better pieces since they should have a little bit more value. Um, but yeah, this is quite scary. This is quite scary. Furcon should also come to the team soon. Can I get anything better here? Tyus Jones is not bad. Why is he have to start value? I don't know. I don't want to give up a second rounder as well. We'll see what we could give up. Boban. Boban. Yes, I signed Boban as well. I signed a bunch of people to the minimum contracts and we get a first rounder. We end up winning that one, in my opinion, because I wasn't even going to use Boban. Giannis goes up. If we get a power forward, I'll move him back to small forward just to fill out the position. Ivica only goes up 79. How did... Five? I thought he went down to like an 80, bro. I got to win now. I got to win immediately. That's so bad. And he's making 27 million. Why does 2K do that? Why do they expect Drew to just get so bad all of a sudden? I don't get it. It's not like he's some guy that he's 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 skilled. He's skilled. He plays defense. I, he's, he doesn't rely on some crazy athleticism. Just everything's going to regress out of nowhere in a year. <laughs> Nikki Alexander Walker goes up seven. I think they had him in the G League. Uh, so that's dope. Uh, Tyus Jones up one. Now to go see if I can flip these guys into something. Because this team sucks. High key. Hi, key. This team sucks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cheese as much as I can now because that's the only thing that I am uh, available. I can do. That's the only thing I can do. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Mitchell Robinson. You know, Mitchell Robinson's dope. He's an 84 overall, and he's a player that you can get. He's a player that is available out here. Well, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to give him. I'll give him Daniel Gafford. And uh, I'll give him a second. Where the heck did all these first rounders? Oh, that one's a 2023 protection backed up. Warriors pick we just got. And then these are future picks. Okay, we'll throw in seconds first. Because we'll most definitely need uh, first rounders for different things. Because um, this team, like I said, is doo-doo butt cheeks. So we're going to throw in Grayson. Throw in Grayson. I might even make him a small forward. And he'll probably go up. And we'll finesse. It's time to finesse and win now. Uh, give me Deion Waiters. What do you guys say? They agreed. We got our starting center. That's going to be incredible. So for now, Mitchell Robinson, Giannis, Chris Middleton, beautiful. Holiday, he's okay. He should be okay. I mean, everything just declined. He should still be okay defensively. But, like, that's it. That's literally it. Miles Bridges is kind of dope off the bench. I might even start him at the four if I want to or at the three and then move Chris Middleton to the two. Drew Holiday to the one. And that kind of improves my team a little bit there. Um, Shooting-wise, not the best. 
but out here being athletic, giving us energy, and uh, we don't have any more freaking second rounders. We don't have any second rounders. What can I throw in here while not giving up too much away from my bench? Because we're going to need a bench. But our bench is already atrocious anyways. Just let's... Does that help? <laughs> Does that help? I don't think it would help. We got DJ. DJ? That doesn't help either. Okay. Okay, then. Um, We might keep looking. I know you guys might not see it as the craziest difference here for Tyus Jones. You know, 77 to a 79. But... Off the bench, I think it's a major difference. I think Devontae has that, like, sixth man of the year quality to him. Um, I don't know what he would do in very limited minutes. Well, I do know. He's good. He's good, and I think he might be better than Tyus Jones. Off the bench, I mean, he is better overall, so we'll see if they accept this one. They agreed. Beautiful. Uh, we do miss out on someone. We'll see what kind of free agents we have out here that if I can maybe sneak one away. Uh, I only have the minimum to offer, y'all, so I probably cannot. Oh! Uh, I can maybe bring in Kelly Olynyk, move him to the power forward. He's declined. Beautiful. All right. Never mind. I can't bring anybody. We signed Pat. We're moving him what? To the small forward. Where's Pat? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Switch him to small forward. Now I have to scroll back again anyways. Small forward. Goes up to a 75. And then we trade him away for something as a package deal because right now we still need a lot of help. Um, Can I bring in OG? Can I bring an OG and just fill out my starters like that? Start OG at the small forward, Chris Middleton at the two, and yeah, let's try to see. Let's try to see. Counter offer, first rounder. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Just because I love OG. You guys know how much I love OG. So now, what we would do is holiday here. Swap minutes. Yeah, don't care. Uh, Middleton here. Wait, what? Okay, for right now, this is what my team is looking like, which is not horrible. I just need to improve the bench. Holiday, Middleton, OG, Giannis, Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson most likely going to be that guy that I throw in a trade alongside one of these guys to try to get, like, two pieces back that are decent. A decent center back and then a decent bench piece back is what my ideal situation would be. Hey, at least this one brings us one better bench piece. I will take it. Yes, we are giving up three players for two players, but then I throw in Shabazz and just try to flip him for something else. I do have my... Monty Morris, but I could throw in one of them out here. I'll probably throw in Monty now since he's making $5 million, and we could try to find a better bench piece. We're even getting a pick back, so... And since we have the holiday bros, you know, we get a boost. We get a boost, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> Some type of chemistry boost? Don't know why Boston is so willing to give up their big. Do they have a big? Taco Fall? They have a young... They don't really have their center position locked down, but they're willing to give me Robert Williams, which I'm going to take. Uh, he'll be a great bench piece. Or a starter and trade Mitchell Robinson. I don't know what the heck we're looking like right now. Our starters are still set like I want them to be. Just trying to find that end of the bench guy. We'll take in Andre Sims. Made up rookie. He looks decent defense. I don't know. He just looks decent. He looks like an athletic small forward power forward. He'll be my ninth man. I don't need waters. We have already enough guards. And I guess we're giving up my last. My very last pick there. Should have some minutes for him. Where the minute distribution? I guess I got to fix it myself. But. Last guy off my bench. Not the best bench. We're all close to 80s. Not the best starters. If I didn't have the restriction of freaking holiday, I could come up with something beautiful. Beautiful. I could come up with something beautiful. But our money's tight. I did what I could. I guess I'll give them eight minutes. <laughs> they want me to give them 13, but 18 to Robert Williams, 21 to Nikhil, 20, only 22 to Holiday coming in for his bro. Um, so it's Holiday, Middleton, OG, Giannis, Mitchell Robinson. Is that enough for a freaking championship? I don't know. Hopefully my bench, since this is a lot better. We finished second in the conference. We'll see where we finish this time. We have a better assistant coach. It should help a little bit i mean they're supposed to technically um proficiency balance is now even worse so uh, <laughs> but it's still one of the best defense is up there oh we're just gonna go with defense we're just gonna go with defense nobody's really that upset besides middleton okay you get what you you get what you want what, what you asked for mike your defensive team i'll take it 58 and 24 is that a little bit better than last season luka Doncic. MVP again, Rookie of the Year, James Vaughn, Mo Bamba, the six-man defensive player, Anthony. D okay. Um, if we get to the finals, we're going to play them. We're going to play them. Porzingis, Anthony Davis. So they have the defensive player of the year and the MVP, a triple-double machine, and an un unstoppable force in Anthony Davis. And then Porzingis. <laughs> okay. Okay. Morant, most improved player. Elvin Gentry, 65 and 7. Who was? Wait. That's the Pelicans. So the Pelicans are good too? 
Giannis, of course, all NBA first. He's a 30 and 15 type of guy. But goddamn. But goddamn, we're screwed. Giannis, all defensive, second team there. We're number one in the Eastern Conference. A little surprising. Uh, team stats, 65 and 17. We made them good. What did we give them? Defense while they already have their offense. I mean, yeah, they already have their offense. Dante bringing in defense. Bledsoe bringing in a little bit of everything. Ingram, 27 a game, 28 a game. They have white side. Okay, they have bull, bull. Jackson Hayes, a lot of bigs, a lot of bigs. And they still have George Hill and Pat Bev. Did I give him Pat Bev too? While I was flipping like crazy? I might have, huh? Luca, Anthony Davis, Porzingis, and then they put a shooter, a dead-eye shooter, Joe Harris, around him. Jalen Brunson, what's he shooting? 34, okay. And then they have Clint Capella. And they have Clint Capella as a backup. Seth Curry's still there. Hardaway Jr. Carmelo. Oh, my. That's disgusting. I am disgusted. 65 and 17, 64 and 18, and then it's us. <laughs> the best team in the East by quite a bit. Player stats, 30 and 15, like always. Giannis, 21 for Middleton. Only 14 for Drew Holiday because he gets worse than absolutely everything. Getting 30 minutes a game. OG, 12 and 5 and 2. Oh, I got to check my defense. What do we do defensively? 11, 9.8, and then almost two blocks a game for him. 11 for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. 9 for Holiday. Robert Williams, 5 and 6. Of course, our offensive numbers aren't going to look crazy. We were running a defensive proficiency. And points against. Points against, we only allow 105. We score 117. We're not supposed to score a lot in a defensive proficiency. We're still in uh, top 15 there. And then the differential, I think, is the highest for us. No, we're in, and I, I don't know why I thought it was the highest for us, but we're third. I'm scared about these West teams. But let's get it. We're up against Miami, the team that actually beat us last season. They have Dennis, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Christian Wood, bam. <laughs> uh, they could still beat us. Okay, never mind. They can't. They can't beat us. <laughs> uh, the Philadelphia 76ers were champs, right? They didn't make any moves. Wow, they usually always make moves. They signed Bush Chris Boucher. I think I might have flipped Emmanuel Moutier their way. Okay. My nemesis... Boston Celtics still have their same old squad, I guess, besides minus Gordon Hayward. I gave him Morris. Did I give him favors? Did I trade him their way? Nah, Charlotte did or something. Jonathan Dixon, Doug McDermott. Just keep it going. Oh, my God. Why are we so good? Okay, but we're up against Dallas. Like I said, it was New Orleans versus Dallas. They weren't going to not make it to the conference finals. How do I beat this team? OG just destroyed Joe Harris. I don't know, man. We got a 28-point score, a 28-point score, a 20-point score, and then Capella bringing in double-digit there, 10 points there as sharpshooters. Sharpshooters around their stars, and that's freaking terrifying. Giannis has to pull this out, and he has to become a legend right here, right now. We do take game one, which means we took away their home court advantage. I mean, if we win both here at home, we go up 3-1. Giannis. It's all Giannis. It's all Giannis. I don't know how I beat this team. I do not know how I beat this team. 25.8 points. 10 re those, those aren't even Giannis numbers, bro. It might be our defensive proficiency that really messed them up in these playoffs, especially all these teams. Damn. I might need to make more, like, just defensive lineups in general and run a defensive proficiency. What did they score? We kept them under 100 in game one. Uh, we got, they, they beat us game two, uh, game three, we won. I mean, we won every other game from out here. 103, then they scored 113, then they scored 98, two games. We kept them underneath a hundred points. Defensive proficiency is the wave. Why haven't I been doing it? Giannis Middleton, Mitchell Robinson, OG, Drew Holiday, the main trade piece here. I added in J.J. Redick. I'm guessing, I mean, J.J. Redick's got to be a trade piece, maybe. He's happy where he is. He's the, one of the greatest teammates you could possibly have. Both Holiday brothers win a championship together. Main piece here, Drew Holiday as a trade piece. Um, I had to do a bunch of flips, a, a bunch of crazy stuff. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Let me know another trade rumor that you've heard, that you've seen in the media. I will most likely do it if it's intriguing enough. Subscribe if you are new. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.